What's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining me. Doing something a little different. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Call it a shootout video. This guitar player versus that guitar player to the original. Talking about Megadeth, the guitar solo, Tornado of Souls, arguably one of the greatest, if not the greatest. For me, it's Tornado of Souls and Domination by Pantera. Those two are in an endless cage match till death of which one's the greatest. But uh, we're talking Tornado of Souls today. We've got Timu Mantisari. Kiko Lurario, and of course, Marty Friedman, who I will be learning from next month at Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp, because that's a thing that I get to do. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're going to start with Timu, because he is the recent most axe wielder for the revolving door band that is Megadeth. Okay, we'll go back and listen to it again. Before I say anything, all three of these guys are way better than I will ever hope to be, so don't be blowing up my comments being like, can you play it? No, I can't. Not all of it. There's some parts of it that I could play, but no, keep that shit to yourselves. All right, uh, that's just, I'm just offering my critique analysis, and I'm a bit of a connoisseur with this guitar solo. I know it in my head and in my soul very well, just not beneath the fingers. So with that aside, now that we know that that's better than I could ever do, Some of the phrasing is a bit off, but not drastically off. These bends are pretty decent. That was, that was a little fuck up. Yeah, he changed the phrasing of that tremolo pick part. Now I noticed the way he's picking that there, like it's it's surprisingly clean, but it's not the most efficient or economic way of doing it. It, it looks like he's using what's called outside picking and maybe he's playing so fast that I can't see it, but let's see. That's pretty dark there. I'll have to see, I can't wait to see what, how Marty does. I know Marty's got that really carpal tunnel-like, like I don't know how he hasn't, lost use of his wrist yet with that really awkward <laughs> it's unbelievable i think it's an odd choice of picking technique to to play that part like that it's essentially a two two string lick there between the high e and the b um i don't know i don't know that that's how i would play it but i mean this guy is way better than me so what do i know anyway back to timu <laughs> That part was nasty. Not good nasty. Strong ending. Yeah, the part right before the actual ending, I thought that was for a guy that's in Megadeth on stage playing that solo, the upper echelon of all guitar solos, that one, I don't know. I don't think that's that was great. I don't think it was very great. Again, better than I can do. So keep that to yourself. Let's go to Kiko. So this one is from nine months ago. I tried to pick like Kiko in 23, Timu in 2023. I've even got a Marty from 2023. I was debating going back closer to the original because you know how things kind of evolve slash devolve over the decades. 
you know, maybe Marty's not playing it the way he wrote it today. Who knows? But I got all three from 2023 just to keep the variables to a minimum. He changed a lot at the end there. I felt like he was more accurate throughout overall, but the end was completely different, honestly. Let's go back and watch that again, and I'll interrupt and critique here and there. He seems a little more relaxed. It looks like he's playing between the G string and the high E string there, which is, that's odd. I can't say that I know for sure where Marty plays it. The only time I've ever seen him do it, I was too far to even notice. Yeah, it's definitely between the G string. This is all different. It's still pretty wicked. Definitely pretty freaking wicked. Let's see what Marty's got to say about this. Now this is this year, Marty with Megadeth, live at Budokan. I didn't know they played that many dates. I heard of this, I caught wind that he did some stuff with Megadeth again. Is he wearing that same flannel from the 90s? that was pretty damn good it's pretty far away so i can't really compare the fingerings the frettings the hand positions that he's playing in it did look like when he came over towards the person holding the camera that he was playing between the b and the and the high e whereas kiko we just watched looked like he was using the g string in a different position but his still sounded good i think marty did some variations too you know notably at the end he held a bend there which that to me felt like just feeling the energy of the crowd, like kind of giving him like a big whale, you know? And then it seemed like he almost lost the timing of the final phrasing, but he, he definitely picked up where he left off. Let's watch that one again. Some 
some of that phrasing sounds a little different, but it's still the it's still the character of the song. That was a little wonky. It's still better than I could play. There he comes. The bends are just so tasty. His vibrato is just perfect. I don't know how he picks like that, man. It's like... Right here. That was like a Guitar Hero bend. long exaggerated bent note at the end there i mean obviously marty's uh, even this one i think marty's was the best trying to be unbiased it's his solo he knows it it came from his soul it came from his fingers nobody does it like marty and that's like duh but between timu and kiko i feel like overall even though kiko changed the ending more than timu did i feel like kiko's overall was a little more true to the original what do you guys think timu kiko Marty. It's going to be more stuff like this, more of the heavy metal stuff. That's my heart and soul, my bread and butter, my peas and carrots. If you like this video, do this, do this, do that. <laughs>